guys, I'm back with the next of the Revo Valentine's Day collection reviews. This one is the, what was it, Pink Frosted Cupcake, I think was the name of it. Let me look, do, do, do. at the wrapper still, turn me in it, yep, Pink Frosted Cupcake. I made sure to hold on to the wrappers until I make these videos just in case I've messed up on the names, but anyway, so. It's in a very light pink shell. Um, the other pink ones in the line, not just Valentine's Day, but the entire Revo line, are generally like a hot pink. Whereas this one, I think, may very well be the very first light pink one, like a baby pink. And it's got a pink sticker on the top, and I was like, oh, it looks like a boob, because apparently I'm 10 years old. But <laughs> anyway, so what I found interesting, I tried this earlier, and smelling it. This one to me it smells more like marshmallows than the marshmallow one does, honestly. Um, the marshmallow cream one smells like cream soda to me, which if you watched that video you'd know that I said that. But this one, <laughs> it's like if you bite into a marshmallow, this is the smell. I mean, I suppose with a pink frosted cupcake or any frosted cupcake other than chocolate, really, um, there's going to be an element of vanilla in it. And there's vanilla in marshmallows, so there's the common link between the two, so I suppose it makes sense that it would smell similar, but... I mean... Eh, it, it kind, kind of very vaguely smells like a cupcake to me, but it just, in my opinion, smells more like marshmallows, but... It's not bad, though. It's a very nice scent. It's really light, though. It's not as vibrant per se is most of the other Revo ones are. This one's a really really subtle scent. Like when I first opened it I was having a bad allergy attack and I couldn't smell anything so I had to wait a few days before I could even like smell anything here and even now I'm just like I have to hold it right up to my nose to even smell anything. So that part a little bit of a bummer because it's so faint but that aside I mean if you're not real wild about heavy scented things or heavily flavored things, this would probably be really good for you. So, depending where you lie on that, it, it could be a good or a bad thing. For me, I prefer them to have more of a scent, mostly because I have sinus issues and allergy issues and things have to be more heavily scented for me to be able to smell them, so there's that. Anyway, in terms of texture, I really do like this one. So what it lacks in scent it makes up for in texture, and I wonder if they changed the formula, because I swear, this is so silky smooth. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna put some more on now. And you don't even really need an awful lot of it to get to that level. Whereas other Revos, I mean, they're okay, but they don't really feel like they're doing a lot. Some do, some don't. They kind of vary from flavor to flavor, but this one is like really satiny smooth. I love that about it. And even more impressively to me, it stayed on through a cup of coffee, a can of V8, a can of Dr. Pepper, and I took a shower and I still felt it on my lips. I was like, it's like the bionic lip balm. Oh my gosh. I think that's the first time I've ever found one that stayed on that well through that many things that otherwise usually would wash them off. I was like, this is really impressive. I mean, I just now put more on for the sake of the video, but I actually had still felt some there from earlier. So hard to say for sure how long it actually lasts because it stays so well that it's pretty much guaranteed you're going to eat or drink something or do something that's going to make or well should normally make it come off but I guess in this case it just shortens the lifespan of it but doesn't make it really entirely come off I don't know really what I'm saying here do I no um but I'm really really impressed with that like I said I don't know if it's just the chemical makeup of this particular one or if they have a new formula for Revo in general because if that's a new thing in general I'm a big fan of that. That was really nice. I am impressed. So for that, like I said, what it lacks in scent, it makes up for. 
with how well it stays on and how just smooth and creamy it feels on your mouth. Terms of shine, it doesn't really do much for that. Like, I'll let you see. Hmm, yeah, not really seeing anything here. Hmm. So, I mean, if you're going for a glossy looking one, you're not going to find that here. So, if you want one that's not going to show up, but you'll still feel it, perfect for that. But, yeah. So, across the board, scent-wise, I'd give it a 6 out of 10 just because it's so faint and because it smells more like a marshmallow than a cupcake. Or it's frosting. Longevity-wise, for staying on, it gets a 10. Texture-wise, it gets a 10. So... In terms of shine, just told you it doesn't really have any, so it's kind of not applicable, so I'm not going to rate that. So, across the board, it's pretty good. I really like this. I don't think there's been any that I've flat out disliked in this collection, so bravo, Riva. You've done a good job, guys. So, anyway, that's about, about all I've got to say on this one. I'll be back soon with reviews on the other two, as well as more EOS and Baby Lips reviews and... Whatever else I feel like making. So, till next time, bye!